In this problem, we're told a constant force F, which is equal to 2i plus 4j newtons, acts on an object as it moves along a straight line path. If the object's displacement is d, which is equal to 1i plus 5j m meters, calculate the work done by uh, the vector F using these alternate ways of writing the dot product. So we're going to do this two different ways, one where A is the work is equal to FD times the cosine of theta, and B where work equals F sub x times D sub x plus F sub y times D sub y. So let's go ahead and focus on A first, because that's the way they want us to do it first. So we're going to be using this formula here. So it's just for work, right? So work equals FD times the cosine of theta. And so what we're trying to do find here, right? We're trying to find the number of joules. We're trying to find the work, right? So we're trying to calculate the work done. And so we're going to use this formula for the first one. But keep in mind what this is. This is going to be the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the distance times the cosine of theta. So they give us two vectors here. And so what we need to do is find uh, the magnitude of these. And so we know how to find the magnitude of, the, of these, right? We can use Pythagorean theorem. So if you imagine it like a triangle, right? This is 2. This is 4. And we're trying to find the magnitude, which is this side right here. We can just use Pythagorean theorem. Right, so let's just write this down first. So I'm actually going to write it up here. So the vector f is equal to 2i plus 4j. And so what we want to do is find the magnitude. So f is going to be equal to uh, Pythagorean, right? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what we're trying to do is solve for c, right? c is essentially f in this case. So we can just square root this side, and that's going to get rid of this. So we just need to take the square root of these two numbers squared, essentially. So the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, uh, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is going to be 16, 4 plus 16 is 20, so it's just the square root of 20. And so keep in mind this is going to be in newtons, right? So square root of 20 newtons. And so what we want to do next is, since we have theta here, we also have to find the direction it's going in. So we're going to find theta, and the way you do that is just by taking the arc tangent of your y over your x. So in this case, you know that y is, the j, uh, that y is j, right? x is i. So you just take your 4 over your 2, right? So you take the y over the x, 4 over 2, which is just 2. So we can just rewrite this as the tangent or arc tangent of 2. So we've got that, right? Now we have the force. And so what we need to do is find the distance now. So d, they tell us, is equal to 1i plus 5j. So we're going to do the same thing we did here, right? So use Pythag. So the square root of 1 squared plus 5 squared. And so... If you go ahead and do this, this is 25, this is just 1, 25 plus 1 is 26. So it's going to be the square root of 26 newtons. And so now what we want to do is find theta, right? So theta, in this case, it's going to be the y over the x. And so the y we know is 5 and the x is 1. So it's just going to be the arc tangent of 5. So now we have, we can call this theta d, right? So for the distance, this is the force. And so now what we can do is just plug it in. So let's just go ahead and plug it in. So work equals uh, the force, which we know is the square root of 20 newtons. Multiply this by the distance, which is the square root of 26. So square root of 26, and then cosine. And so what you can do, imagine this is the angle, right? So this angle is going to be bigger than this one, right? So if you imagine it's something like this, uh, right? So this one is going to be tangent of... 5, right? So the arc tangent of 5. So one's going to be bigger. This one's smaller, obviously, right? Because it's 2. So essentially, you can just take the bigger one, arc tangent of 5, and subtract it by the arc tangent of 2. So we can just do, I'm actually going to move it down here. Just imagine it's right next to it, though. So the cosine of the larger one, right? Which is the arc tangent of 5, and then minus the arc tangent of 2, right? So this is going to find our angle between them. And so if you go ahead and do this, you take the square root of 20, multiply it by the square root of 26, times the cosine of the arctangent of 5, minus the arctangent of 2. You're going to get that work is equal to 22 joules. Right? So th this is the work uh, using this method, right? So using uh, this equation. And now what we're going to do is do it this way, right? So we're going to use this dot product here. And so this way is going to be a bit easier, or a lot easier, actually. But notice how uh, we're going to get the same answer, right? Because... Uh, we're just using two different approaches to it, but we're calculating the same work, right? So the way we do this one is the work is going to be equal to the F or the X component of the force, right? Which is 2 times the X component of the distance, which is 1. So let's just write that out, right? So 
f sub x is 2 because we know we know that i is x and j is y so the thing in front of it is your x component of your force vector so it's just 2 times the x component of the distance which is 1 and then plus right we're just using this equation here the y component of this one which is 4 right because it's in front of the j multiplied by uh, d sub y so that's just going to be 5 right and so if you notice this, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 times 5 is 20. And so what you're going to notice is this is going to be 22 joules. And so we know we're right because uh, the other one was 22 joules, right? And they're going to be equal. So Because we just did two different methods of solving it. So uh, these are going to be your two alternate ways, but the work is going to be the same, right? So this one's 22 joules. Uh, they're both 22 joules. And so yeah, this is going to be how you solve this problem. And hopefully you found this video useful.